Okay, so it's been a minute since I've recorded a video for this channel and as you can see I'm sort of out and about um, getting back into skateboarding and on a bit of a street mission here just skating sort of local skate spot that I kind of like that are sort of pretty isolated and on their own uh, where I'm not likely to run into other skaters at this point. This is just a little bank next to something to do with SA water that I've been trying to use to get a bit of confidence back on not just skating banks but trying to drop in on transition stuff. Uh, well, I shouldn't say drop in, I'm not scared to drop in on transitions, it's more like doing uh, rock to fakies and fakie disaster type of things. I'm sort of using it to use the top edge there to get my sort of confidence back of going over an edge. And there's nothing in my local skate park that's sort of this low that I can practice on that really offers any sort of challenge. Because all the banks there are too mellow and I can just do without even thinking about it. Whereas this one here, it's got cracks at the top and the bottom, and the bank itself is relatively steep, so it offers a bit more of a challenge. That's why I like this spot. So this spot is just a speed bump out the back of the Lawn Bowls Centre. I realise it doesn't really look like much, uh, but it's sort of acting as a bit of an A-frame a type ramp for me. And I've just been using it to practice my ollies on for both ollieing from one slope to another, but more importantly for getting the timing on an ollie right, because uh, my timing with ollies is really off in terms of choosing the right moment to ollie. So if you've got a bit of a hump like this, you definitely know when you get it wrong if you ollie at the other side of the hump instead of this side going into that side so that's what I've been using it for. It's a nice sort of mellow speed bump so it's really good and it doesn't matter if you miss the ollie too much you're not going to hurt yourself falling off on it so uh, it's been really good for that. So this is my third and final spot for today. It's just a car park that's not too far from my house. And it's one of the few car parks in Gaul that has these curbs where the tarmac goes right up to the curb. A lot of the curbs in South Australia are pretty much this style of curb. You get that sort of little bit of an edge away from the curb that makes it hard to ollie onto them because it's generally a bit of a bump, it's like trying to skate over a crack. Although it's not a very high curb, it's good for practicing on and I have been here before. Uh, this car park uh, not usually empty through the week so this is one of those rare occasions. So let's see what I can do. I do hope to maybe get back into filming more skate videos and doing more stuff for this channel soon. It's just a case of trying to find a balance between this and the animation channel and animation education business that I'm running. Yeah, it's just trying to not create too much editing work for myself. That's the real crunch that stops me from doing videos. I just don't like editing them. And skateboarding has a lot of editing once you really get into them. Getting out all those gaps, running up to various tricks and whatever. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. I don't know when the next video will be, but I hope you enjoyed this sort of little insight into me trying to get back into skating again, uh, just through this little street mission. So hopefully I'll see you in the next one, not too far into the future. Bye for now.